Hello everyone, uh, sorry not to be able to meet you in person, but I'm here to tell you about the sword and the spear uh, by Mia Kutu, um, which World Editions are publishing in October, pub uh, translated by David Brookshaw. This is the second of Mia's amazing novels uh, set in 19th century Africa, and it's set against this incredibly dramatic backdrop. Uh, of a war between the African Emperor Ngani, who at that time ruled a huge chunk of Southeast Africa, and the invading Portuguese. Um, you have these two characters, you have the renegade Portuguese soldier, a guy called Germano, who's been injured in a raid on his outpost, and he's been taken by his lover Imani upriver for medical help. Um, Imani is an African, she's a Vachopi girl, and her family was caught up between the two clashing armies. They threw in their lot with the Portuguese. She went to a mission school where she learnt Portuguese, and now she's working as an interpreter. Um, her family are very much caught up in the war, and her, mother, her mother's dead. Um, and Imani herself is an incredibly intelligent, thoughtful, compelling young woman, caught very much in between the two warring cultures. Um, so, while this is going on, war is raging all around, um, the Emperor's guard of Gaza's warriors are fighting the Portuguese occupiers with swords and spears, uh, and then the arrival of the machine gun um, ensures European supremacy. Uh, Germano wants to start a new life with Imani. Uh, Imani's father has other plans. Um, he wants to get her to be one of the Emperor's wives. She believes he'd be close enough to him to be able to avenge the destruction of his village, which happened at his hands. Um, so this is very much a book about people caught between cult cultures. It's about forbidden love. It's about the futility of war and the conflict between love, culture, family, society. Um, his books are always incredibly well reviewed. Last time we got great reviews in the Sunday Times and the Observer. Um, and he did several uh, BBC interviews and events. Uh, we're going to be bringing him over again in October and continue to build his reputation as one of Africa's most interesting writers. Um, and those of you who were able to meet him um, when he came over, you will know that he's one of the nicest and most interesting, warmest people you will ever get to meet. And I hope you'll enjoy selling the sword and the spear. Thank you.